Okay, you guys. Um, so you guys, you guys declared that I could never be a comedian, that my my work wasn't good enough, that that was delusional. But if you really track Star Wars, it's not just about me or against me or about reference to my life, but actually how many jokes that I have said have been turned into something by not just any comedian. Of course, I've seen it a shit ton of time with the local, the local little comedians that aren't famous. They steal shit all the time, but the A-listers of comedy, which is like a D-lister for a normal celebrity, but still, um, you know, secret for comedy, but the top of their game, famesies, famesies have coaches, have writers, have teams for, for their comedy, and still my jokes, my jokes are making it to, um, all over TV, all over, um, writing that you've seen all over sketches and cartoons and, and with big actors and all that. Um, so, I wasn't good enough? Apparently I fucking was to have something if A-listers even bother. But I'm going to give you an example right now. Um, I can't turn on 30 Rock without seeing reference. It's post 2014. It's not possible. I've never seen it not reference things. But one of the more clear-cut examples where I don't often share about what I was going to talk about with stand-up or direct comedy. I more just kind of make ad-libbed kind of off, off the whim remarks. But um, one of them was about this premise that was based on a conversation um, between Angela and I that we had in 2013-2014 about the Wiggles and how it would be ridiculous to date one of the Wiggles and we referenced the purple, you know, purple indigo, you know, um, and then you'd be like, it's not indigo, and I was like, okay, it's a fucking joke, dude. We also didn't date him, um, dating the Wiggles, and then, you know, 2020, we see this on 30 Rock, this exact thing, dating at the blue wiggle. There's no purple one in there. So, yeah, but the blue indigo is the whole punchline. So, and the whole thing of that, and the ridiculousness of that, and um, I'm just wondering, like, well, first of all, it shows. Uh, obviously, it's not just jokes against me. It's my jokes are taken, and I've inspired a lot of stuff throughout. I mean on the entire scale of comedy, regardless of a show, podcast, stand up on a local level, <laughs> on a big level, um, it doesn't matter. And it's not just how, how we're making jokes about her, it's we're stealing her jokes and we're putting it on the big screen and we're using huge Hollywood names to do so. I mean, it, so I think the proof is in the pudding, but also I was wondering like, are any of you ever gonna give me royalties? Like Tina Fey, I basically handed you, like, so much for nothing. So much for nothing. And everybody else makes hella money and they don't give me one dime for royalties. And it's kind of, not all of it's a free-for-all territory. It's one thing to make fun of me and, and life and the references or things you've heard. It's another to directly rip my jokes and then don't pay me a dime for it as I struggle at the bottom. That's pretty fucked. Um, but I like Tina Fey. I've always liked Tina Fey. I appreciate her writing. Um, you know, but... Anyways, I'll give you an example of... Uh, and this is... They're called the Woggles. And he's blue when she dates him. Well, it's hugely fucking different. Um, on a show that notoriously makes reference on every episode. So, here we go, you guys. Check it out below. <laughs>